It is pollinator pandemonium here at our Monarch Way Station in Canton, North Carolina. And today we're going to be talking about one of my all-time favorite native perennial plant selections for North Carolina gardens, and that's common milkweed, or Asclepius syriaca. Common milkweed is native to the central and eastern portions of North America. It's hardy in zones three through nine. So this is a plant that's going to work very well in all growing regions throughout North Carolina. One of my favorite features of common milkweed is its adaptability to poor, dry soil conditions. This is a plant that thrives in those lean North Carolina soils where there's not a lot of extra organic matter or soil nutrient availability. Asclepius syriaca can reach heights of three to five feet tall. Uh, and while one single plant isn't that large, maybe eight inches wide or so, this plant will really spread out over time, either through seed production or the root system. So common milkweed, you definitely do want to give this plant a lot of space to grow and really reach its full potential. Common milkweed typically flowers in mid to late summer. The pale lavender or pink flower clusters are abundant in nectar and pollen. Uh, they're also lightly fragrant. So this is a plant that is meant to be enjoyed by not just the pollinating insects and wildlife, but also the gardener too. Now, anyone who's planted milkweed knows that it's synonymous with aphids. They're just a common insect pest that we have to live with if you're going to plant milkweed. One common question that I get though is how to control aphids on milkweed and as an entomologist I'm probably the world's worst to ask this question of because I actually don't recommend treating aphids. The reason being is that the aphids themselves are specialists on milkweed meaning that they only feed on that genus of plants. Um, but aphids are also fed upon by things like ladybird beetles. They're parasitized by a specialist beneficial parasitic wasp that lays its eggs inside the aphid. Um, so there's a lot of really cool interactions. If you just leave those aphids, this is a great plant to show kids about uh, insects and how insects interact with not only plants but also uh, with one another. So I really encourage you, if you can stand it, to leave aphids on the milkweed. Now most of us are familiar with the story of the native and imperiled monarch butterfly species, but did you know that there are at least five to six other specialist insects that only feed on the genus Asclepius? One such specialist is the native milkweed longhorn beetle that instead of ingesting the latex sap like the monarch butterfly, it will actually clip the mid vein of the leaf, drain the latex sap, and then feed on the other parts of the plant that don't contain the sap. You probably couldn't tell it, but I'm really excited about common milkweed. As an entomologist, it really is just a dream come true. I'm also really excited that you're going to give this plant a shot. It is worthwhile and it does deserve space in your garden. If you have questions about growing common milkweed or any of the other plants that will work well in North Carolina gardens, be sure to check out the database or contact your local county cooperative extension office.